because of my children. They gave me back my life. And thus, right now, I'm very powerful because I show it scientifically that we are able to tap in deeply into our physiology and uh, psychic physiology and uh, mm. thus give hope uh, to everybody. Hi, they call me the Iceman, Wim Hof. I am all about hope and we will prove this scientifically, even. So the doubt can go away, hope will kind of get in and we get a real good life. Welcome to I Share Hope, the podcast where world leaders share their real stories of hope and how you can use actionable hope to start changing your life today. And now, here's your host, Chris Williams. Before we get started on the questions, tell us what you do. So you're controlling your automatic nervous system, right? Explain how that works. The automatic uh, nervous system uh, is dependent on the right pH degree in the body. Right now, it's also in the books, in the university books, in the biology now, in the universities of the U.S., And it explains that the autonomic nervous system, which was not being able to be influenced by nobody, even scientifically stated up till now. And now we proved with uh, 12 people just in a couple of days to get deeply into the autonomic nervous system, which is out of our will. Normally, they stated it is out of of our will and it uh, controls our body which is the immune system and the endocrine system. And, and with 12 people, just in a couple of days, I made them able to uh, tap the, deeply into the autonomic nervous system and uh, have control over the endocrine system and the immune system. And they proved it in the university by being uh, injected by an endotoxin, which is a bacteria, which normally causes people to have, say, uh, uncontrolled shivering, fever, headaches for three to six hours. It's a controlled experiment. But this time they had control within 50 minutes of all the symptoms and the immune systems. And it's there. It's there for everybody. So I learned it in nature, but now it is scientifically proved it is available for everybody to tap in much deeper into the physiology, thus having much more control over the endocrine system, which is our, the hormones, where uh, if you don't feel good, you just make contact with your hormonal system, which is the endocrine system, and you make yourself feel good. If you feel powerless, then you tap into the hormonal system and you make yourself powerful by secreting adrenaline, controlled stress hormone in this case, and it has been shown. And if you feel like you are going to be sick, you tap into the immune system in deeper layers. We have proven this now. So the autonomic nervous system, which was out of our will control, now is within our reach. And that's happy news. That gives a lot of hope for every person in the world, for every physiology in the world, which is every person. And that's it. That's the way I give hope. And and that's incredible. Clarifying By clarifying scientifically, Undoubtedly, no speculation. Amazing. So you've got, did you do this by experimentation? Did you figure out how to do this? Or is this something you were kind of born with and most people just simply aren't? Yes, absolutely. I'm not born with it. I got a genetical twin brother and it shows he is not able to do that because he doesn't do the same practices as I do. So an identical twin, that means genetically he is the same like me. But he is not able. But I do my practices. And these practices actually are very simple. Right now, he is exercising. He saw it uh, that people are able just in a couple of days to adopt these techniques, which, are, by the way, are very simple, but very effective. And it has been shown scientifically. So now also is very able to influence into his mood, into his energy level, and into whatever makes him sick, he prevents from it. And he is far more able to control his system now. And absolutely not a genetical standard or something like that. Anybody is able to do this. So that's really amazing. So you can take somebody who really doesn't naturally just roll down this path on their own and train them quickly 
to be able to control enough of their nervous system, the stuff that automatically happens in the background for most people. So we get cold, we start feeling, you know, shivers or we're sick and we're feeling low and feverish, or you just wake up with a bad day. And if you take a vitamin drink or something like that, I notice that I can feel better or I have some coffee, you know, it's a stimulant. I can feel more up, but you can actually convince the body to do that on its own with its own natural hormonal set. Is that, am I getting that right? Exactly. Exactly. If you take coffee, a stimulant or vitamins, that affects uh, also the chemistry of the body. Now, we have found by better breathing, deeper breathing, conscious breathing, and some cold showers, you learn to awaken the deeper chemistry within, thus rising the pH degree controlled, and then the body is very able to tap in by the mind. You know, the mind is thought, yeah. and thought, a thought, willpower, translated into chemistry is just neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters, which are uh, finally in the nervous system, mm-hmm. electrical signals. And we are made to be able to tap deeply into the endocrine systems as well as the immune systems as it is a natural standard. But, you know, because we live in a comfort zone and I think we have the nature under our control, deeply within, we got alienated from a stimulation with the interaction of natural nature. Huh. And that's it. It's very simple. Fantastic. So, yeah. Huh. So that's, that really is amazing. So will you have the same long-term health effects that most people have? I mean, so cancers and heart disease and things like that, assuming you live a, a healthy life and you exercise and eat well. Will you live longer than everybody else? <laughs> yes, we, are, we want to do a study with the UCSF on the telomere. And it proves that telomere, uh, which is about the longevity, it's the DNA, it's the cell division of ours, uh, which guarantees longer life or lesser life. Mm-hmm. If you are able to influence into that, then yes, you will live longer and better. And most of our shortening in uh, life quality and length of life is because of stress. Okay. Antioxidants caused by stress. And that's because we have a too low a pH degree. Thus, we have no control of the nervous system. Then the impact of daily stress comes in and we are not able to deal with it. It incubates in the body and it causes antioxidants. Uh, mm. It causes all kinds of uh, stresses in the body, which ultimately influences negatively the DNA and part of the DNA is the telomere, the cell division. And yes, of course, then there is a negative impact on the cell division and that shortens life length as well as the life quality. So this sounds like really, really intense mindfulness meditation. Am I on the right track or am I, are they completely separate things? Yes. Mindfulness also uh, proves itself to be effective mm-hmm. on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the deeper part of our brain. And that what gives peace in the body. Mm-hmm. And peace in the body, controlled, I mean, is therefore for rehabilitation on cell level. And wow. thus, if you go into mindfulness, then you tap in deeper layers of the brain and then cause the parasympathetic nervous system mm-hmm. to be active. And then cell generation and cell energy is being generated, and it's good for us. So meditation is good for us. Right now, we are doing a study because mindfulness proved itself uh, already, but uh, the techniques I've adopted and shown in the university, in research, they show to be even more effective, going deeper into the brain and causing a better oxygen level, better pH levels very, very fast. And that's done by conscious breathing. Interesting. Man, I, I'm really interested. I really am. All right, but let's, I'm going to come back to some of my questions because I, I could probably go on for an hour just asking you questions that, sure, sure. that make yeah, sense. All the time. All right, so let's do this and let's ask these five questions that we ask people who are giving hope to others. And I've watched some of the testimonials on your website. I've watched some of the news clips, some of the science reviews, read some of the articles, and you really are changing people's lives in a very positive way. So. Question one for you, 
What's your definition of hope or your belief about hope, a favorite quote about hope? Just put it in your own words. Very simple. Hope is a positive energy which influences directly on the DNA positively. Wow. So always hope because your chemistry is influenced the right way. And finally, when the chemistry gets enriched because of our mind, and listen, the mind is very capable to influence into cell level. We have shown this in the university just by thinking to be able to uh, no movement, just by thinking to be able to raise 300% cell metabolic activity. And wow. that's our mind, which is able to do that. So if you use your mind in a positive way, which is hope, give yourself hope and give it some time, it will grow uh, onto the chemistry up till DNA level and will enrich it over there. Mm. And then, your body is going to thrive, and uh, your body is your vehicle. And with that, you realize your dreams, your goals. But if the body is not working because there is a negative impact of your negative way of thinking, mm -hmm. then it affects directly the chemistry. So hope is just the right way to enrich the chemistry of the body, which is the vehicle to realize our goals. Oh, wow. So uh, my definition of hope is. Just do it. <laughs> Hope, just do it. I love that. All right. I'll ask Nike if we can use that one for a while. <laughs> but what, what do you say? I'll ask uh, the Nike brand, the tennis shoes and sport equipment brand Nike, if we can, if we can use their just do it slogan with, with hope for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So question two, who has shared that kind of hope with you? Is there somebody else in your life who's really given that to you or a group yes. of people or a pet or any? Give me what right you got. now, many, 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 huh. many, many, many. Mm -hmm. I get so much love, so much dedication, so much intense devotion of so many people because they love the science behind it. They love the way where there is no speculation about be positive, love, and bring hope to all the world. But years ago, it were my children who gave me hope. And, you know, hope is life. They gave me life. And, and thus, hope, uh, because I, I lost my wife in 95. Mm. Oh, really? I didn't know uh, that. Yes. And uh, I had four mm. children with her. I loved mm. her uh, literally to death. But, uh, yeah, uh, I had to deal with the loss. So I needed a whole lot of hope. I needed a whole lot of uh, mm. love to work this out, a broken heart. So they gave me a whole lot of hope love, energy, life, mm. and I healed. And right now I work with all my children who all have uh, completed their studies and they give people right now the hope that there is, because scientifically proved that there is a way to tap into our deeper layers of our psychic mm. uh, being, of our physiology, mm. and thus guarantee happiness, strength, and health. Wow. So that's the way. Wow. So how old were you in 95 when your wife passed away? Uh, 20 years ago, 36. Oh, wow. And so your children were from what age range? How young? How old? My children were like uh, 12, the oldest, seven, the youngest. Oh, my goodness. And then uh, nine years and you know, uh, eight years, eight and a half, and uh, nine and a half. So the next question, which you've, you've probably already tiptoed into, um, I don't know your story, but what's been a time in your life and kind of paint that picture and... Tell us what was going on, what was like when you had a time in life where you really needed hope to get you through, obviously. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the, uh, society, most of the time, is very stressful and very fast going. You have to deal with the goals and, and uh, you got to commit to, you know, the everyday life. So there's very little hope or very little space and ability to work things out when you need love and hope of people and but then nature's very hard mm. in one way and in another and e egoistic in a positive sense because the children they needed attention the children needed a daily life with uh, safety yeah. and uh, love brings safety uh, no tension brings safety and thus they gave me hope because when done and when you go on with the energy that, that way, 
you take care of the children, then hope arises again. Everything is going to work out. And that's an irrational feeling, but it is very, very there. So I became aware of this that time, like 20 years ago, and 19 years ago, 18 years ago. I dealt with it always as a subcurrent of grief, emotional grief. But because of my children, they gave me back my life. And thus, right now, I'm very powerful because I show it scientifically that we are able to tap in deeply into our physiology and uh, psychic physiology and uh, mm. thus give hope uh, to everybody. Mm. But first it were my children. They took me through. And the children are like nature. you got to be there. And you got to give them love. you got to uh, give them safety. And then at a certain moment, it begins to thrive there in the, in the broken heart is healed and the energy begins to flow again. Mm. And you see the flowers are open again. That's it. So that's amazing. I, I've never had to deal with the loss of a loved one that close. And I can't imagine. I've had friends who have lost their spouses, but wow. So with that, how are you, now that you're through that healing and, and apart from your profession or, or your life, I mean, your life really is around bringing hope to people with the unlocking of that natural ability they have. But in an everyday way, how are you sharing hope with people around you? When you see somebody at a coffee shop, at a tea shop, at, a, at the grocery store, or out you know, getting the post, how do you, uh, how do you share be, hope? Just be alive. Huh. Make jokes. <laughs> make, make heavy things light. Yeah. Bring light every mm. day. That's the only thing. And the rest is scientific research. I'm really mm. into scientific research to take away people's doubts that happiness, strength, and health are possibly a physiologically, chemically, a guarantee. And that's possible. I want to show that beyond speculation by reaching out to scientists and uh, make these techniques, yeah, researched. And it shows from many, many angles. We are into psychiatric research, wow. the telomere into Roma, into MS, into pain. We wow. just completed a study on pain. In my country, which is like a state in America, is like 16 million people. Wow. And 2.2 million people suffer from chronic pain. Oh, and we just completed a study wherein the breathing techniques are right. able to tolerate pain very much higher and that all controlled, and, and that all, all, you know, like 12 people, or no, 20 people, and they were, you know, given sensors and uh, electrodes on the body. Wow. Somebody is in, uh, 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 raising the pain signal, and they were very able to control that. Wow. That gives hope to 2.2 million people who, uh, it just <laughs> in Holland, I imagine in America, it's a big thing as well for the people with chronic disease. Sure. They have are hopelessly looking for a way to relieve themselves of pain. Mm. We just completed this study. This is the way we give back hope, strength, and a sense of trust that people, every individual, is able to control and to go deeper within and be happy, strong, and healthy mm. instead of being hopeless about it and powerless. Mm -hmm. you know, we turn it around. Why do you think it's so hard to get people to accept this because honestly, I'd prefer to go through meditation practices on a daily basis than go see a psychiatrist and get medication prescribed. I mean, and, I, and I'm doing both currently. I'm doing meditation practices and seeing therapist and a psychiatrist who's dealing with some medication. But I hate taking pills and I know they're helpful and, you know, I get it, but yeah, they still. Are, they are sort of helpful because they cut through the cycle. Mm -hmm. But they they just suppress the symptoms. So why are why are you having to prove this? I mean, you think people will be just like, "Hey, this is the greatest thing ever. We can quit popping pills yes. and going to doctors." Yes, yes, sir. And uh, it is so, and it is so simple, and it is so effective. We have shown this by showing that the autonomic nervous system, which was up till very recently not being able to be influenced by mm -hmm. nobody, and now our whole group hundred percent shows a deep influence into the autonomic nervous system related to the immune system, that's going to change our vision, our wow. way of looking and thinking, our thoughts about what 
is disease. People think they are powerless. So they try it many ways. Mm -hmm. And then you go, you are going to be, you know, very doubtful, very cynical, and you begin to be dependent on pills, on doctors, pharmacies, psychiatric asylums, etc., because you know in yourself, I have no way to deal with this. And this is overcoming me. Mm. Now, listen, we got some news. There is a way to tap in to the source of ours, to tap into these deeper layers of our physiology, controlled, very simple, very effectively, and bring back the natural state of our physiology and psychic well-being, which is uh, like in nature. Do you see like rabbits going to a psychiatric uh, asylum or a hospital <laughs> or, a, or a pharmacy? No. They don't need that. They got the right pH degree. They live strong. And there may be predators, as it read there, but that's healthy stress. It's nature itself. So we are humans. We think we can control nature. And I say... Now we have to go back to this, the mammalian brain, which is the limbic system, and the brain stem. And because mm. of our comfort zone behavior, we don't get sufficient blood flow in the deeper parts of our brain. And thus the pH levels in the body, they fall down and they cause incompetence in the body. It's logical. It's like giving gas to a, a car and put uh, some sugar in it. You change the chemistry. Yeah. So we bring back the right chemistry, and in nature, it is a, to a natural state. And that natural state in every individual in the world is able to tap into its or hers endocrine system and immune system. It's a natural state of ours. This is the way after millions of development, mm -hmm. it was built. But we began to have a, a different behavior toward the interaction with nature, and thus the pH levels got down. And if the chemistry is not right in the body, then it causes, after you know, uh, uh, years, it causes all kinds of defects. Yeah. It is simple and very logical. It is. It really is. Huh. Okay, question five then. The easy, simple A, B, and C steps. What do I do right now? We've talked. I've got the rest of my day to live. What do I do to live as a more hopeful person today? Really okay. basic. How practical can you make it? What yes. do I do next? Breathe consciously, deeper. Compensate the shallow breathing reflex you have because you have clothes. There is no interaction with nature. It's yet the body still needs oxygen. Mm. to raise the pH level. If the pH level is right, anybody can see and control that mm -hmm. uh, with pH strips mm -hmm. uh, in the morning. If you do these breathing exercises, and uh, Michael from the office will provide you with uh, free samples for everybody uh, just to uh, bring about, by a simple technique, the right controlled pH levels. And wow. uh, that's number one. And it, uh, it is simple. Breathe. <sighs> deeper, uh, deeper, and consciously, okay. because the mind is the thought. The thoughts are neurotransmitters, huh. and they—that's uh, bringing neural activity together with the oxygen inside. It goes through. It's like consciousness bringing throughout the body and the neural activity in control. So uh, it's very. Uh, yeah, it looks uh, very difficult, but just I say. Breathe consciously deeper. All right. So that's the perfect point right there. And, and there's a lot to breathing, I, I'm sure. So, I mean, how do I do this? Are we, I'm going right to, we're going to air this whole thing. Let, let's do this. So how do I, what do I do if right I, now? If I do. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah, what, what's your name again? Sorry. Uh, Chris. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chris Williams. Yeah. Hey, Chris, let's go to Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, uh, I will show you. Okay. Just in, uh, just in two minutes. All right. Uh, two minutes uh, yeah. uh, to tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. Your, your video is off. Do I need to be able to see you or do you just need to be able oh. to see me? I'll, I'll just do whatever you tell me. Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you just uh, tell me what to do and I'll just, uh, my video is still on or you can click yours way. back. There we go. Okay? I can see you again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to do this along with you. Okay. There we go. So can I be sitting up? Relax. Okay. Uh, a, a body which is relaxed is very able to have uh, oxygen inside. 
So right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay my microphone down here next to me so that I can just not have it in my hand. Can you still hear yeah. me okay? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. There we go. Breathe in. Deeply. Let go. And breathe in. Deeply. Let go. Breathe in. Deeply. Let go. Go on. Breathe in. Deeply. Let go. Number five. We do 25 more. Deeply in. Letting go. Deeply in. Letting go. Keep on doing this. We do about 30 breaths. Deeply in. I want to show you. Just go on. Listen while I uh, while you do this. I want to show you that your ability to store up oxygen is far deeper, far more than you normally use. And if you get uh, oxygen to all these cells, then the pH level goes up to its natural state, which enables all the neural activity in your body. You can read on it later. It's all logic, simple, very effective. Okay, let's uh, do more. Ten more. Five more. Come light at it. Yep. That's logical. Loose in the body. Three more. Yep. Two, one, there it comes, pull it in, and let go. After exhalation, stop. Okay. Stop. No breathing. Close your mouth. No breathing. You are not breathing, but besides of the lungs, we brought in oxygen. It makes you able to stay like one minute without breathing. So, okay, for those who are listening in, I just did this. I did, I guess, 30 breaths or so. I held my breath. I, by the way, when the phone hung up, I kept holding my breath. I was so trying to make it till we talked again. It's been about two minutes. I made it about a minute see, and a half. You know that uh, what happens is that the body resets after two minutes. Huh. The body is resetting and you get into the brainstem and it's very easy. Uh, it, it shows that we, the ability to store up oxygen in the depth of our physiology, which is every, making, uh, neutrifying every cell with oxygen, brings about to be a right pH degree. So, all, so yeah. making it that far, does that mean I, I stored up oxygen and I felt, obviously I felt my face getting flush in the breathing process and then started feeling a little lightheaded. Yes. And so I'm, I'm storing up oxygen. I did feel relaxed. Now, is it's that- the parasympathetic it, nervous system. Really? Yes. Huh. The, the same thing mindfulness does, but then it takes much more time to get into this parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. The peace. Yeah. Interesting. So if I did that, so this is, this is our step. Question number five was what's the step we can take right now to start building more hope or in this case, generating more peace so we can have more resource to use hope. Should I do that 10 times a day? Do I do that once in the morning, once in the evening? How do I start practicing just that step right there? The best is in the morning. When you're on empty stomach, okay. it's the best. And then, then your pH is right. So when I'm taking those breaths in the morning, no breakfast. Yeah, empty stomach is yeah. the best. Okay. And you can prove it to yourself. If you take a strip, then before you will see it is acidic. Mm -hmm. And after this breathing technique, which you do like two, three rounds, okay. then your pH level is suddenly, bang, very alkaline. Wow. And that will remain for the, you know, for many hours afterwards. Really? So it's not like it where, cause right now I don't feel a lot different. I did my breathing and now I'm, you know, we're talking, I don't know. I don't feel more or less stressed than I did 10 minutes ago. But if I do that repeatedly several times in a row and then kind of keep that pattern going for several days, will I start to notice the effects pretty quickly? Yes. If you do it like three cycles, yeah, then you will perform better. You will feel better. The energy flow of the nervous system is a lot better. So, and that lasts the whole day. They'll go, really? Okay, I'm in, man. I'm trying it. Another uh, one, which is not very difficult, but very uh, effective and uh, with a big outcome, is taking a cold shower after a hot one. Really? <laughs> Warm and hot showers and all the time, but finish cold. Finish so cold because then you train and stimulate to the right tonus your vascular system. That means there is about 80,000 miles of uh, vascular little cha channels within our body. 
and they are stimulated by taking a cold shower. Thus, the transportation system of the oxygen gets better. So in the and evening, I'm going to get my normal shower, and then I'm just going to crank it down to cold and just stand in it for a minute or two? Or? Yeah, that minute or two is already long. I say uh, one minute is more than enough. Really? You will see you get really used to it, and you, you are going to love it. Because the vascular system is going to be, is going to develop in tonus. It's going to, it gets very fast in the right shape. And then you are very able to take on uh, one minute or two minutes uh, of cold shower. Because that's the way nature has uh, built us. And we just bring it back to its natural state. So uh. if the tonus is to its natural <clears throat> state, then the transportation system which is transporting minerals, vitamins, uh, oxygen, the chemistry in the body goes a whole lot better. And you know what? If you do this, say, in 10 days, and you can measure your heart rate now, and you do it in 10 days, after and doing this regular practice of taking a cold shower after a hot one, then you will see that the heart rate is down with 20, maybe 30 beats a minute, hmm. 24 hours. That means a whole lot less stress hormone. Wow. Okay. I hope tribe those listening in with us. So here's what I'm going to do. And I'm a bit of a cheater, so I'm, I'm not going to cheat. So it's, let's do this for 10 days then. So if you're listening in, let me know, shoot a message on Twitter, Facebook, um, wherever you want to jump on the website, send an email, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do the breathing exercises three times a day in the morning. And I'm also going to do during that 10 days, get a regular shower and then 60 seconds of cold shower. No cheating for me. That means I'm not just sitting my feet in the cold water, but head and everything in the water getting cold for 60 seconds. And I'm just going to kind of keep a daily journal for 10 days, how I'm feeling just stress wise. And I'm going to make a few notes about what else is going on in my life. Cause you know, some days are, you know, if you get fired or laid off from your job on day five, you're probably going to have a stressful day and uh, make sure you put a note of that. But I'm going to put those notes down and uh, I'm going to see what I come up with. So let me know if you're doing the same thing. We'll, we'll do this together. This is really, really cool. All right. So how do we find out more about you, Mr. Winhoff? Iceman Winhoff is who we're talking to, and he well, is yeah, the expert I, here. I, I got a, they made a great website. That's my family and associates. They yeah. made a great, a great website. I'm not very able to do that. But they do it. <laughs> but uh, it's all there. All the techniques, all the signs, all... And there is a big community of thousands of people already practicing. And mm. it's very hopeful what you will see and read. Yeah. And uh, it, most of it is, is because of there is a, a lack of uh, speculation going on. Yeah. It's real. It's there. It's your, your commitment, which will enable you to tap in to your systems in a way that you will be able to direct your happiness, strength, and health. I love it. And that's just a chemical thing. And we are able to do that. We are made to do that. So we just brought it back to natural state. And, and that's the, about the mindset. Be convinced this thing, hmm. that we are able to become strong, healthy, and happy at will. I love because it. that's the endocrine system and the immune system. And we have proved that, proven that with thousands and thousands of uh, results. And I... I've seen that site. Here's the web address if you're out and want to jot this down or it's sitting in front of your computer or phone right now, you can jump on there. It's icemanwimhoff.com. So I C E M A N W I M M as in Mary H O F.com. So icemanwimhoff.com. And Iceman, you actually teach classes in this as well. So if somebody wants to read about it, find out, there you can go. But if they want to get the advanced fast paced and get on this thing, you take people through a series of steps, right? And how does that work if we engage you to do this? Make them do uh, incredible things because I bring them back to their natural state, huh. psychically as, phys uh, as well as physically. And uh, I know the tricks after, you know, 40 years of training. Yeah. I know to make things uh, simple and easy and accessible. All right, so tell, tell us quickly what you've done. So you've done some amazing things, some amazing feats. What have you done kind of showing people how this really can impact your life? Like uh, I'm able to control my, not only the immune system, also the thermophysiological uh, 
hypothalamus, which enables me to go like two hours in ice and raise my core body temperature, for example. You can be in ice, surrounded by ice, and raise your core body temperature. Yeah, and, uh, and stay in for two hours, control. I've seen you doing ice swims as well. You swim in the Arctic ice regions? Swims under uh, underneath a cap of ice, like distances, 50, 60, 70 meters. Wow. Huh. Or run a marathon in shorts beyond the polar circle in midwinter <laughs> and uh, do it barefoot, <laughs> put it, and, uh, or hang by one finger up in the air in winter. And you know, the extremities in the winter time. Yeah. You, have, you, you lose grip of your fingers. And I've shown I've totally gripped just by one finger between two hot air balloons in midwinter. Whoa. And I saw some pictures of you around, it looked like Everest. Have you been up that way? Yes. Everest as well. Going in shorts up there. Have you, and you've uh, summited Everest? No, 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 no. Just no. in, in that region. Almost uh, 8,000 meters. Wow. And, but in shorts. <laughs> and that's a whole story. But wow. now I do organized trips with people uh, climbing Kilimanjaro, say in a little bit more than one day in shorts. Wow. And everybody is able to do that. I mean, 65 was the oldest last year, and he had coronary uh, problems. There was one with Roma, one with the disease of Crohn, uh, two, the disease of Crohn, which mm. is the diaphragm, mm -hmm. asthma, cancer, and they all went up, and they all did it in a record time. Oh. So that's about the breathing. The breathing is so important, and be <laughs> conscious that you are very able to do so much more than w what was thought possible, mm. even scientifically. And Love right it. now we are opening up the door for every individual of the world. And that's no nonsense. It makes sense because nature has provided us with all these tools to maintain happiness, strength, and health. We alienated from nature. And now we got the techniques to bring that back and compensate the loss of direct stimulation and interaction with the nature. We compensate it and bring about the right pH levels, which makes the neural activity in the body able to be going under your will. Mm. And you want to be happy. You want to be strong. And you want to be healthy. And mm. now you're able to do that. Man, I love that it's something that's already in me and it's not a piece of equipment I have to buy or a supplement that I have to have a supply of. It's something I can learn and take with me if I'm traveling in the hotel room, working out at the gym, or just sitting at the house. I can do this. That's great. It is. It is all for free. It's already there. Mm, love so it. Make use of it and use your mind to regain belief and trust. Fantastic. Well, nice man. What a fun conversation. Like I'm, I'm yeah, into man, this, man. I love your work. Uh, well, I love yours too. I, I love it when people are doing things that aren't like everybody else. And that's really fun, man. Thank you very much for the hope and for some really helpful steps on how I not only can build hope, but I can I guess, regain that level of peace and traction on daily stress so that I actually have some resources to use towards building more hope. I mean, that's really important that we have the resources in place internally to actually have some energy to, to use towards building our lives up in a better way. So great foundational comments. Thank you. Right on, Chris. So there you go. You know, Iceman's been very gracious to give us his time. Iceman really do appreciate the the effort that you've been in for the past four years and for challenging the scientific community to take notice of what our brains really can do. You know, I don't know how you feel about everything you just heard out there in, in the hope world, but you know, it, it's pretty basic stuff. Mindfulness meditation and things like Iceman's doing are really just challenging our minds to take control of our bodies. And there's a lot that our minds are ready to do and willing to do if we discipline them to the point that they can get there. Again, you know, we all have our problems, all have our stresses, but anything I can find that'll help lower the stress a little bit in my day or increase performance somewhere else in my life, it's a great deal. And I'm willing to try it out. So I'm going to give it a whirl for 10 days and see what happens and uh, join me. If you want to let me know what you think about it, Chris Williams HQ is my handle on pretty much everything social media. So you can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, whatever you want to do. Hit the website, ishearehope.com. We'll have lots of info about Iceman right there, along with some transcripts of his Q and A's for our five questions about hope and some great quotes of his and uh, resources you can get a hold of. So man, looking forward to talking to anybody who wants to jump in here. Thanks again. It's good talking to you. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope you have a great day. You've just listened to I Share Hope. 
If you're ready to make a change, head to our website at ishareHope.com and claim your free copy of the Top 10 Actions of Hope from World Leaders to use hope in your own life. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next time. So where are you right now? Uh, right now, I'm in the city of Rotterdam, the outskirts. Ah, uh, beautiful. Yeah, my garden. Beautiful. I'm sitting here very relaxed and, uh, yeah, sharing the Hope interview with you. With you. With you. With you.